Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com, and I'm here with the new Kindle Fire HDX. This is the uh, the brand new Kindle Fire. Obviously, it's the uh, Amazon's newest, latest, and hottest tablet. Uh, so we got it here in house, and I just want to do a quick look at it. Something we've already written up. Something we'll probably be be reviewing before too long. Uh, so now we'll just take an initial look at the hardware and uh, a little bit of the uh, the operating system. So uh, first off, it's on the stand. This is the sort of uh, folding stand that we've seen before. I believe the Nook had it. Uh, now the Kindle Fire HDX has it. And this is actually removable if you uh, take it up there. It's uh, slightly magnetized within the base. Uh, you can't tell from looking at it, but uh, when you attach it, you could definitely feel it. And then uh, it's also magnetized on the bottom. So this piece will sort of slap into place. Uh, the, the power button is over here and the volume rocker. Uh, so they come right through and they're easy to use when the case is on. When you want to stand it up, you're just going to fold this origami structure in place. I always forget. I always get it wrong. There you go. So it'll stand up flat like that. Anyway, onto the fire. If you haven't seen this yet, it's uh, definitely the nicest fire hardware so far. Are we losing focus? There you go. It's the nicest hardware Amazon's put out so far. We have uh, a nice matte black soft touch back, volume rocker, power button. Amazon logo. The uh, this is a matte area, and up here is actually uh, a gloss. It might be kind of hard to tell, but it's uh, it's pretty nice in person. Uh, I don't love the gloss. It looks really smeared and uh, oily, but uh, overall it has a, a nice effect to it. The on the front there's not a whole lot to see, and same with the sides. You know you have your standard. Uh, dual microphones, headphone jack, the uh, USB port is over here on the left side, and that's it. There's no buttons around there. To turn it on, what you're going to do is press the power button over here. It pops on, and you can see that nice HD display. We'll actually get it set up in the case so it's stable. And then to uh, unlock it, it's just a normal slide to unlock. And now you're in the uh, the Kindle Fire's new, newly designed operating system. It's uh, you can tell it's related to the previous iterations. It's got your uh, sort of iTunes style flip show or flip uh, whatever they call it set of shortcuts, and that'll get you to the camera, to the browser. You can see Geek.com's over there. Uh, how's the Wi-Fi speed? Wi-Fi speed pretty good. And then uh, let's go back home. Got your games, all that. The uh, it's got some nice slide controls. Obviously, it's nice and responsive. UI is really nice and clean this time, so that's good. Then you have uh, some more shortcuts, and then along the top, you have even more ways to get at uh, popular things to do: your uh, your photos and your apps and your books. Uh, and so forth. Uh, by sliding down from the top, now we have uh, some shortcuts to uh, auto rotate, brightness, wireless. So uh, things you'll use all the time. And then here's quick time, uh, not quick time, sorry, quiet time, which, uh, there you go, turn it off. Easy to use, easy to access. And then the big feature here is Mayday. Uh, Mayday is the uh, revolutionary live video help service that's gonna come with this. That's the one that Amazon said, if you press this button, you press connect, which we'll do in a later video, it'll, uh, it'll give you access to a live person that's going to help you out over video on the Kindle. So uh, that's pretty cool. It'll walk you through any problems you might have. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, do a quick video demo because if you're going to be watching a lot of your Amazon video, Takes a little while to get it going. And 
and so what we see here, we got our videos playing. It's uh, it's sharp enough. It's uh, and then what really looks good is along the rest, the left side, is you have your X-ray. So what we could pull from this is the actors' names. So we'll click on that. So, so we got the the bio here for Lieutenant Dan. That's Gary Sinise. And uh, you can get pull that information really quickly, which is one of the nicer things about Amazon Video. And then also, if you do want to read the Kindle, going back home, let's quickly see if we could find uh, we've got PC Mag. So pull up PC Mag Digital Edition, and it might be hard to tell, but the uh, the display is really sharp. So uh, it's really readable. This is a, a good looking display. So. If you've had any reservations about the the Kindle Fire in, in the past, I th the, at least the display from the Kindle Fire in the past, this should allay some of those concerns. So we'll slide. Uh, I'll show the page view response is nice and smooth. This thing is not hurting for power. What's one of the nicer things about it? So you click, then you can go home, and you're back home. Anyway, so yeah, this is the Kindle Fire HDX from Amazon. I'm Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. Thanks for watching and leave any more questions or comments at the bottom. Thanks.